Vehicle is pitching downrange. All right, 30 seconds into flight, the, the rumbles are still building <laughs> here in the Raptor's <laughs> nest. We're seeing 32 out of 33 Corporate engines signal. lit on the Super Heavy right now. Coming up shortly is going to be Max Q, that maximum aerodynamic pressure as we go uphill on the vehicle. All right, we just passed through Max Q, so we're going to continue on up. We still have about a supersonic. minute and 30 seconds until we get to stage separation. Starship now flying faster than the speed of sound. Booster engine cut off. Ship ignition. Stage separation confirmed. Boost back burn start up. Acquisition of Houston. Houston. Hot stage confirmed. Ship under its own power. Booster boosting back. Looks like all 13 are lit. Kate, we got a booster on the way back to the Gulf and a ship on the way to space. Ship power and telemetry nominal. All right, the first stage currently performing the boost back burn. This is expected to last a little over one minute. This propels the booster back toward the coast, taking it to a landing in the waters of the Gulf of Mexico. As you can see on your screen in the bottom left-hand corner, uh, we were only using the 13 center engines uh, from from basically from, from here on. Boost back burn shut down. Heard confirmation there of good boost back burn shut down. H2 tank pressure is normal. Lots of excitement. So right here, this is <laughs> this is our view of the jettisoned hot stage. Uh, as we mentioned, this is a temporary fix to help uh, reduce the weight of the booster. Uh, so we have the super heavy booster. Future iterations will have a lighter weight integrated hot stage structure that won't need to be jettisoned. Now, after we jettison that hot stage, this, the booster will begin to uh, uh, attempt its water landing in the Gulf. In the meantime, the ship will coast for about 40 minutes or so up to an altitude of 214 kilometers. And after its coast phase, it will attempt a controlled re-entry, including a flip maneuver and a landing burn just before splashing down in the Indian Ocean. But as a reminder, we are not Starship attempting- trajectory nominal. Good news there. Trajectory is looking good for the ship, which is on the right-hand side of your screen. As a reminder for Booster, the primary goal today is to do a landing burn and a splashdown in the water. And we are just about 30 seconds away from that landing burn expecting to begin. And an incredible view from the forward portion of the booster. This is basically on top of the super heavy booster where we have jettisoned that hot stage. So now we can see this incredible view of Earth as it's making its way back down to the Gulf of Mexico. Right now, the booster is using the four hypersonic grid fins to guide itself through atmospheric re-entry. We are expecting that landing burn here. And we will be... We will be exciting, igniting 13 engines, and this is a great view on your left-hand side is a view, is three views from the booster, and your right-hand side a view from the ship. And you can see those grid fins on your left-hand screen rotating and turning to guide the booster, and there's that landing burn! That landing burn just begun, and you can see the water below. And we have splashdown! Congratulations to the SpaceX team. Ship has entered terminal guidance. That was absolutely incredible. The Expected first successful Houston. splashdown of the super heavy booster. Love seeing it just tip over <laughs> into the water <laughs> before losing that footage. Now the next milestone is coming up in about under a minute. The ship is going to shut off its Raptor engine, engine which we see right there. 
as we mentioned uh, before, today's test flight is not an orbital flight, but rather one that demonstrates ship, the Starship's orbital capability. So right now we are under power with just the three center Raptor engines. Expecting those, and just there we can see that those have also successfully cut off. FDS is saved. What an incredible Nominal orbit insertion. <laughs> oh, there's great news there. The call out we were hoping to hear. Amazing views once again from Starship. We have our second Starship in space. These live views being brought to us by Starlink, which is on board the ship. Dan, what an incredible view we have once again. So exciting. We got another ship in space. Right now, we're, we're getting closer to re-entry. You know, we're going to be moving at hypersonic speeds of more than five times the speed of sound. We're going to see that plasma start to build. So, Kate, Jesse, excitement coming up. Yeah, as you can see with that view on your screen again, high def brought to us by Starlink. We can see the plasma beginning to build as the ship is getting closer to the Earth's atmosphere. Now, how, how, let's talk a little bit about how Starf will survive reentry, hopefully, and control itself. Exactly. We've been talking about this, this entire flight test. There's 18,000 hexagonal ceramic tiles surrounding the bottom portion or the Earth-facing side of the ship. Starship 100 kilometers altitude. Good attitude for entry. Great call outs there. Now, during atmospheric re entry, the vehicle is going to see temperatures as high as 2,600 degrees Fahrenheit or over 1,400 degrees Celsius. So, those tiles are there to help protect the vehicle from this extreme heat. The vehicle is passing through 85 kilometers altitude. The flaps have control of the vehicle. Great news. Flaps have control of the vehicle. That's exactly what we want to hear for this flight test. Yeah. Um, again, we are going to be doing a propulsive landing instead of a more traditional means like parachutes. And we are expecting re-entry to begin here in just about a minute. Re-entry. An awesome view that we have here. Starship around. This camera view is looking right at one of the, the forward flaps. And we're, we're strategically putting some cameras around the vehicle to just look at the, the different areas. Yeah. Looks like we got the flap starting to come apart a little. We can see pieces of the vehicle flying off. What a show it has been. It's been like watching Interstellar or something. <laughs> This is wild to see this, but the ship is still coming down, which is incredible to see. We've been saying it multiple times. We're the, you know, our teams are, are sitting, uh, reviewing this data live, learning where the hot spots are. As you can see, there's an obvious <laughs> hot spot there with the flap, um, and learning how we can improve this design. The goal was to get as far through this high, uh, this high heat re-entry as possible. Okay, we can see that flap actuating through the glass. Starship is passing through 10 kilometers altitude. Okay, the next milestone will be initiation of the flip maneuver and landing burn. And the crowd is very excited to get this view of that flap still maneuvering. Starship is passing through 5 kilometers altitude. Getting very close to the splashdown. These fireflies are such a good <laughs> sign of life right now. <laughs> we wish we could see more, but we'll take it. Landing beam startup for Starship. All right, good news there. Shutdown was commanded. We did get confirmation that a landing burn took place. Starship made it through re-entry uh, and did its first ever landing burn. 